bottle of tequila at five o'clock. <laughs> that might do it. Hi, I'm Jamel on fire. And I'm Max Whittle, and this is Bases Covered, a brand new show from Major League Baseball. I am the best at this, now I ain't gonna mess with this. Ever heard of what the veteran is? I work hard and the most to be what the real is. We've been on one hell of a journey to get here. We wanted to create an amazing baseball show, so we went to America and started filming. Okay. Then we came back and the season was postponed. Then there was a lockdown. But that's not going to stop us. Oh no, it isn't. MLB challenges to create a brand new show made entirely in lockdown. So for the next 10 weeks, we're bringing you the best of baseball. That means getting fans primed and ready for the new season. That includes newbies like Jamel over there, whose baseball knowledge is as varied as the decoration on his bedroom wall. And if that's not enough, we're also going to be building our own baseball team made up of fans and friends of the game. Each week, we're going to be adding a new player to our team. And when this is all over, we're going to get them all together and have the mother of all baseball games. We're ready, we're pumped, so let's do this. This is Bases Covered, episode one. Batting. So why is batting a good place to start? Well, when you think about baseball, Max, the first thing you're thinking about is whacking the ball out of the park. Do you want to see some? Of course. So eyes on the bottom right-hand graphic now, here. No yellow field. bases are covered. They're empty. Mike Trout, one of the best players in Major League Baseball, hits a home run. That's worth one run because there's no one on base. Bryce Harper. Four run home run, known as a grand slam. Uh, bottom of the ninth, the last chance to win the game. Wow. He does it, Phillies were down two, they win by two, and he's gonna get mobbed here. Mate, the way he's, he was pacing around as well, mate. Last year's NL Rookie of the Year, Pete Alonso, says, Bryce Harper, I see you and I raise you with a helmet on, shirt off celebration. Mate, are they allowed to do that? Can they just... <laughs> but in baseball, it's not all about the glory of the home runs, Jamel. Sometimes players lay down a bunt when you knock the ball right in front of you and try and scarf at the first base. A bunt, you said. A bunt. I'm still wrapping my head around all these different terms. But that is enough about bunts. We thought it would be good to get some guidance from someone who knows a little bit more about batting than we do. I am the best at this. Nah, I ain't gonna mess with this. Ever heard of what the... Hey, Chase. Thank you so much. H how are you doing today? And thank you so much for being on here with us. Oh, Jamal, I'm doing fantastic. Uh, all is good in quarantine life. Uh, it's yes. shining out here in uh, Los Angeles, so can't complain about that. We want to know what um, a former Major League Baseball player does during lockdown. And uh, do you have any uh, ultimate possessions that you need in the house right now? Probably the bottle of tequila at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> the first of your 259 career home runs was a grand slam. Um, what, what, what are you thinking when, when you're running the bases there? And what was your approach going to the plate? I, I'm not thinking anything, to be honest with you. I, I hit, the, hit the home run, um, couldn't believe that it went over the fence. And then I run in, round in the bases, and you dream about that moment, moment um, when you're a little kid. And the fact that I actually hit a home run, got the bases were loaded, so therefore it was a grand slam. It was extremely surreal. Jamal, I was, I was doing some research on you uh, prior to this call. <laughs> you were? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it was actually interesting. On YouTube, your last three or four videos are yeah. about how, how to like get chicks on like Instagram during like quarantine. And how to like DM properly during quarantine. This is unbelievable. So I've given a few nicknames over the, I don't know, the past few years. Uh, I know you're Jamel, but today, to, to me, you're J-Love, because I think that's what you, oh. you're thinking about. J-Love. J-Love. Cool with that? J-Love. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna change my name on Twitter to J-Love. <laughs> um, I've got a question, Chase. Um, if you could go back in time and relive one moment in your career, just one more time, what moment would that be? The one that sticks out the most is probably the 2008 World Series Championship uh, that we won when I was in, on the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, that moment right there, you go through all the protocols that you need to go through, you get to the major leagues, and then to actually accomplish the ultimate goal of being the best team in the world. Uh, to me, that was that's my most memorable moment. 
sure. Jamela, are you looking for Chase in the huddle there, in the in the scrap? <laughs> are you trying to Me. find it? Oh, I'm at the yeah, I'm at the bottom of the pile. I try to. <laughs> yeah, I, I somehow I got knocked over and pinned down. Uh, I stiff armed a couple guys because I felt like they were going to step on my head. Um, it was crazy. I have a challenge for you guys called the homemade bat challenge. Uh, you find a something that resembles a bat, something that resembles a ball and try to do as many keepy ups as possible and if you want at the end actually hit it see how that goes let's do it i love it <laughs> love it <laughs> so chase thank you so much for joining us today it's been it's been unreal you're, you're a legend thank you for my new nickname i'm gonna hold it dear to my heart forever yeah my, my pleasure j-love um but i like, listen <laughs> appreciate you guys bringing me on the show uh, I've had a lot of fun with you guys and I can't wait to continue to, to see the team. It's now up to you guys. Upload it to socials using the hashtag MLB at home. Find whatever you can around the house, put it together, get a few keepy uppies in there as well. I guarantee we're going to watch a few of them. And we might even be able to reward the best creations with a little something. Good luck. The best with this. Nah, yeah, the best with this. So I guess, Jamal, it's time to introduce our first player. Now, when we thought about someone who could hit it as far as possible, we thought we'd go for strength. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our first player, one of the world's strongest men, Eddie Hall. Eddie, I've been asking everyone how they are doing in isolation. Obviously, you've got those nice big arms to keep you company, but how are you, how are you finding it so far? Yeah, it's, it's, you know what, for me, it's good. I've been on the, like, my career is very, very busy, so I'm on the road sort of, I'd say a good 350 days of the year. I'm away, I'm out of the house, I'm, you know, I'm away from uh, England, mostly, so this is nice for me to be home, spending time with the wife and kids. It's great to meet you, Eddie. Um, I have a quick question. Now, I'm a big eater, I eat a lot, like a lot, okay? But I read that you eat around 12,000 calories a day. Now, when the shelves were empty, were you still able to get all the food you needed? So yeah, I had to go to the supermarket by myself, do a massive shop, and it was absolute chaos. You know, people, yeah. you know, as big as I am, you know, little old ladies barging me out of the way to get that last, <laughs> last you know, last uh, loaf of bread and like, the last part of milk. It was absolute chaos. We're obviously here to talk about baseball as well. How is your knowledge of the game? Well, I mean, I've done a little bit whilst I was out in America, but uh, I'm definitely keen to learn more, that's for sure. That's good, that's good. Listen, we were set a challenge by Philly's legend, Chase Utley, in the homemade baseball bat challenge, all right? So uh, how old, how well old did you get on with that? Um, not the best. Strike. I think it's safe to say that um, yes, no one's safe. It is. No one's safe when Eddie comes to bat. Uh, especially my neighbours, because uh, I think the football smashed on his window. It didn't break it, but it, it did smash against his window, and he, he threw it back over. And I said thank you, and I didn't hear. I didn't hear anything back. So I didn't think it was too happy. Well, Eddie, you are in the team, um, so we do have a position for you. Obviously, there's two um, sides to baseball. You've got your fielding and your batting. So we want you to be our slugger, which means the biggest hitter on the team, basically. We're going to put you in the fourth spot in the lineup. But then when we're on the defensive side, you have to play catcher as well. We've got a, a couple of clips to show you here. Let's have a look. Right, Eddie, so there's quite a little bit of skill involved with this position. So what you've seen here is the base runner uh, in a Navy jersey has tried to get back to the first base in time. So the catcher's caught the ball and quickly thrown it to first base where he's then tagged the runner out. So here's your position again. He's, he's trying to catch the ball here and he goes over into the dugout. <laughs> We've put in you forward wow, for the best position, Eddie. <laughs> Finally, 
This is what happens if you get in the way of a runner. You might have to take a hit. Is that okay? Oh. Can you talk about the supermarket? Ooh. Well, good luck trying to knock me out the way if that was me. Jamel, that's why we're putting him there, right? <laughs> no one's going to run through Eddie. As, as the catcher, you're right behind the batter, right? So how would you psych him out? Would you say anything? Give him a nudge? Um, I'd probably say if you're gonna hit, if you hit this ball, I'm gonna wait for you in the car park. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean that, that probably ball. would work. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't hit the ball. I'd leave it. I'd let, I'd let, it, I'd let it go. <laughs> Six feet away and more. Eddie, every player on our team has their own baseball card. So let's take a look at yours now. So position catcher, specialty strength, aka the beast. Like it. Good picture of me as well. I must say. So there you have it, Eddie. You are our fourth batter in the lineup. You're our catcher. You're our X Factor, let's be honest. Um, I hope you're excited. <laughs> get excited. I mean, baseball's something I've always wanted to get into anyway, so this is the perfect opportunity. Really looking forward to it. Hopefully we can all get together. Jamal, should we ask him quickly? The sun's out today. Guns out. The quickly. sun's out, so mate. Guns out, mate. Can you, can you show us those quickly? Sun's out, guns out. There you go, guys. There you go. Be Love careful. it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Take care of yourselves. Too. You too, you too. Six feet away. Bro, look at that card. It looks sick. I can't believe you just spoke to Eddie as well. I know. Amazing. And having spoken to Eddie and Chase, I think we've got a fair bit of practicing to do. And especially because the last time we tried to bat in Arizona, we weren't that great. <laughs> I am the best at this. Now I ain't gonna mess with. Ah, <laughs> shit. Yeah! The triggers don't count. That might do it. Oh, he's hit a mile! So we're going to be practicing as the weeks go on, but make sure you comment below and let us know who do you think is going to end up being the better batter. Right guys, that's all for today's show, but next week we'll be selecting another player for our team and exploring the world of food. So make sure you subscribe below to see what we get up to. But before we go, check out this amazing video. The MLB season didn't start this year as planned, but these kids, they brought the season to their playground. We'll see you next week.